Hello, my name is Rian Blom with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering team. This video is about using Avaya Aura System Manager as a certificate authority for Avaya Aura Application Enablement Services. Instructions for performing this task can be found in one of the following documents. Administering and maintaining Avaya Aura Application Enablement Services Release 7, Appendix H, System Manager Trust Management and also in Product Support Notice or PSN 004561U via Aura Application Enablement Services Server Certificate Change and Expiration Notification. Avaya documentation can be downloaded from the Avaya support site. Step 1 of this procedure is to create an end entity for the AE Services Server in System Manager. Step 2 is to create the AE Services Server Certificate. Step 3 is to download the System Manager CA Certificate that signed the AE Services Certificate. Step 4 is to import the System Manager CA Certificate into the AE Services Server. Step 5 is to import the new AE Services Server Certificate into the AE Services Server. And step 6 is an optional step during which I demonstrate how to test secure connectivity to AE services with the TSAPI client. Let's get started with step 1, creating an end entity for AE services server in System Manager. Log into your System Manager release 7 server. Then under services, browse to security. From security, browse to certificates, then to authority. From here, click on add end entity. The end entity profile needs to be inbound, outbound TLS. Provide a username and secure password of your choice and keep a record of them since we will use them during the next steps. Complete the rest of the fields with your company's details. Note that required fields will have a check mark to the right of the field. Ensure that for token you choose P12 file. Then click on Add. You should receive a confirmation that the entity has been added successfully. Now let's look at step 2 creating the AE Services Server Certificate. From the System Manager homepage, under Services, browse to Security, then Certificates. Then browse to Authority. Next, browse to Public Web. Click on Create Key Store and in the authentication box on the right, enter the username and password that you entered during Step 1. Then click on OK. We recommend choosing a minimum key length of 2048 bits. Then click on Enroll and save the server certificate to a location of your choice. Next, let's look at Step 3. Downloading the System Manager CA certificate that signed the AE Services Server Certificate. From the same page where you created the AE Server Certificate, Click on Fetch CA Certificates, then on the right, click on Download PEM Chain. Again, save to a location of your choice. Step 4 is to import the System Manager CA Certificate into the AE Services Server. Log into the AE Services Management Console, then browse to Security, Certificate Management, and CA Trusted Certificates. Click on Import. Type a certificate alias, which can be any name of your choice. Then click on Browse and browse to the CA chain that you saved earlier. Next, click on Apply. On the next screen, note that we need to restart the AE Services server before proceeding. Click on Apply. To restart AE services, 
Browse to Maintenance, then to Service Controller. Then click on the Restart AE Services button. After the AE Services restart, continue with Step 5, which is to import the new AE Services Server Certificate into the AE Services Server. On the AE Services Management Console, browse to Security, Certificate Management, and then Server Certificates. Then, click on Import. Browse to the AE Services Server Certificate you created earlier and click on Open. Next, you need to choose the certificate alias. To decide which alias you should use, you can check the Help pages on the AES Management Console. The two most common options will be AE Services and Server. Choose the alias you would like to use in your environment and then click on Apply. Next you need to provide the password you entered during Step 1 when you added the end entity to System Manager. Once again you will be advised to restart AE Services from the Maintenance Service Controller page. Once AE Service has completed the restart, it will be using the newly administered System Manager CA and Server Certificates. You will now need to ensure that other applications attempting to create secure connections to the AE Services server trust these certificates. As mentioned, Step 6 of this presentation is optional. I will test the secure connectivity to AE Services server with the TSAPI client. Before I can perform the test, I will first have to export the System Manager CA certificate from the AES Management Console so I can configure it on my TSAPI client. Browse to Security, Certificate Management and CA Trusted Certificates. Select the recently added System Manager CA certificate and then click on Export. Copy the entire contents of the certificate PEM, then paste it to a local text editor on your desktop and save the certificate. If you do not have the TCP client already installed, you can download it from the Avaya support site. Next I will configure the TCP client configuration file tslib.ini with the path to where I saved the System Manager CA certificate I exported from the AES on my local desktop. Once this is done, open the TSAPI SPY and TSAPI test applications. Ensure that you choose the secure TSAPI stream name from the drop down menu. It can be identified by looking for CSTA S in the TSAPI stream name. Provide a valid TSAPI username and password, calling and called extensions, and then click on Dial. If you receive a message advising that the call successfully originated, then you have confirmed the certificate is working correctly. If TSAPI tracing was turned on for your AES, then you can also confirm from your AES logs that the TSAPI test application used a secure TSAPI stream to make the call. Change to where the TSAPI traces are stored, open the CSDA trace and look for the ACS Open Stream Conf event. You'll want to see the same CSDA-S in the TSAPI stream name, indicating that the secure TSAPI stream was used. This verifies that a TSAPI application was able to connect to AE Services Server using the newly administered System Manager CA and Server Certificates. Thank you for your time today. We welcome comments, questions and feedback at mentor at .com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.